subscribe button. I'm gonna talk about my history with Fort Pickens. It's an old history. See that hat? U.S. Navy CBs. I was in the Navy once upon a time, a long time ago, 50 years ago. <clears throat> My daddy was in the Navy. A couple of his brothers were in the Navy. One of them was in the Air Force and one of them was in the Army. But I'm going to talk about my connection with Fort Pickens. I have some history with Fort Pickens. It's old. Oh, dates back to the Civil War. You see, my great granddaddy was in the Union Navy during the Civil War. And he was on a ship that blockaded the Port of Pensacola and his Port of Mobile during the Civil War. So I have a long history. When you look at some of the waters around Fort Pickens, and I'm sure my great granddaddy sailed around in those on a Union naval ship, blockading the Port of Pensacola in the Civil War. Now he stayed after the Civil War, and uh, rumor has it that he was a carpetbagger, and he got the mail run from Mobile to Pensacola, Panama City, and points in between, and up the Choctahatchee River as far north as Geneva, Alabama. He run a paddle, stern, stern paddle wheel, river boat, back and forth through here. That's the story we get. But you know how them things are. They get better with time. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I have a long history with Fort Pickens. That is the old fort. We don't know exactly when it's been, when it was built. See the cannon up there, and then there's people up there. If I'd, if I'd have been smart, I'd have Googled all that stuff before we come out here. Well, that's a brick fort. That's brick. Trying to get that cannon come in. There you go. That looks like an old World War I cannon. There's one right there, ain't it? Yeah, World War II artillery was much more sophisticated than that. There's another one. Look at them windows where they can find out those women in the bar. Shoot out those windows. Or just a no, just a film. See how thick them walls were? You gotta wear a mask in there regardless of vaccination status. Take it back in there. It may be a little windy out here today. Maybe I can get out of the wind. 
But I'm touring Fort Pickens. There ain't gonna be no place that ain't windy out here. Well, I'm touring Fort Pickens today and they're requiring a mask. So much for facial recognition hardware. It's Cold Beach. shoot out here. I'm not so sure the rebar ain't new. There's the artillery rattle for loading the ball, the top one, one for cleaning the barrel, sponge to extinguish sparks, and a hand spike for maneuvering the gun. And there was the gun. I like to have guns at every port. The way it looks. They would have guns at every port. Here. Thunder and blast. Now this port has been walled up. But I figure they had guns at every port. Probably stack shells or stuff here. Barracks everywhere. Brick floors, everything with brick. All brick floors. Brick fireplace, it looked like. Barracks and everything you can imagine. Just got everything. Probably had doors there. They lost them somewhere along the line. Skilled craftsman, skilled craftsman. 
brick floor, brick side wall, brick everything. Had to though, because it's so sandy here. Come right out here. Back into the bright sunshine. But we got ain't quite as bad out here in the, in the forest. There goes up, up on the breastworks up there. A little bit too much steam for me. We may go up over here. There's the old Ford over there. Now this part was built during World War II. The cannon. That's a real gun. That's a real gun. Shoot them cannonballs. Projectiles. Two 12 inch rifles on carriages could disappear behind the walls after firing. Fire. See that cannon right there? There's the artilleryman. Trey, this is what they used to, this is how the artilleryman in the Army and Navy used to, Army, Navy, Army used to fire guns. See that? That's how they used to fire guns. See the guy inside the tube, you wanna know how big that gun was? See that guy crawled up in that tube right there? They got these kind of bunkers everywhere. I figure these were where they stored the shells and stuff, the artillery. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a walk up and look around. See what I can see. Get up here in the sun. Walk up these steps right here and see what I can see. Trying to do just as little walking as I can to save that old leg. How many weeks? What if that's where they put the spent cartridges? Now this is the old fort. The reason you can tell the old fort from the different other is the brick. Now just look here. Look at the brickwork going all the way across that ceiling. And they didn't string them on rebar. Them were probably solid brick. They laid in there with mortar. Ain't that neat? I love old timey construction. The work here is just magnificent. Something to see. Really don't understand this courtyard right here. Got cannons looking, overlooking this courtyard, look like a parade ground or whatever. Maybe it's in case it gets overrun. Place now, I'm telling you. I wonder how many men it took 
man this garrison. That's where guns sit down through there. Oh, we're looking at. We're looking at trade ground right there. Now, I really don't know what these are, but I figure this is where they stack cannonballs right here. Would be my guess for shells or something. Be in here. Look at that brick down there. Turned up on their edge. They're not laid flat, they're turned up on their edge. They've sunk in around there where this sand just keeps on giving off a little. We're back to where we started from. There's them steps. I'm going to try these steps. I'm up here with a mortar. Pensacola over yonder. See a ship right there at the end of that island. Sitting right out there. Right there. Black Beauty. Bay. We were just down there. Guns sit on these things right here. Cannons. And swivel back and forth on this iron rail right here. Biggest trees I've seen out here on the island. A couple of old growth live oaks. One here, one over there. A couple of old low growth live oaks. Been here a while. Look at the length of them branches coming out there. And I think that arch would have come on around here and joined over yonder. That would have joined into that right over yonder. They're up there restoring parts of it, remodeling it and everything else. They working on it. Now I hadn't read a sign, but I figured these were barracks in the 40s. Biggest tree right there that I've seen on the island. You're looking at the Gulf water out there. A little old shot right here where we're right side the Gulf. Beautiful beach there. Ain't no place to stop. They got it roped off for nesting birds. Well, that's the Gulf. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Head straight south there, you'd run into Mexico or where somewhere, South America.
we pray we'll see you in the rapture.